let's start with the freshest one because I just watched it tonight uh, or this afternoon. I watched uh, Top Gun, uh, the new Top Gun movie in the theater. Um, I loved it. <laughs> what can I say? Um, it's a fun, uh, it's a fun movie. It has no great pretensions. Uh, it's it's if if you actually analyze the plot and thought through the different things that were happening there, a lot of it, you know, just doesn't make complete sense. Uh, it's it's full of kind of silly plot holes and, but it's not pretending. It's not trying to be realistic. It's super fun. It's um, unapologetically heroic. It's what I said about sports, and it's so rare in movies where you have a hero. It's just a hero. He's just pretty much perfect. He just pretty much does the right thing. He's capable. And the fact that he's doing things that a 20-year-old, 20-something-year-old would find super impossible to do when he's 50, you have to, you have to, you know, this is where you have to just accept it for what it is. Um, but, you know, the, 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 um, you know, Maverick is a heroic character, uh, an unbelievable, efficacious character, a man of tremendous ability and courage, uh, a man who cares, cares about the people that he loves. Uh, so, uh, you know, Maverick is somebody you want to admire, respect, put up on a pedestal. He is truly a hero. Uh, he he makes choices. He, he, this is not this is not uh, a deterministic movie. This is not just him playing along. Uh, you know, there's a point in the movie without giving it away where he might be losing his assignment. He takes the initiative. He proves everybody wrong. He proves himself right in a in an amazing, dramatic, spectacular way. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just it's just one fun hell of a ride. That, that presents, uh, uh, you know, fighter pilots as heroic, efficacious, uh, good, basically. There's no bad guys in the movie. There's an arrogant kind of prick who plays one of the fighter pilots. You have to have one of those, and, of course, they're fighter pilots, so they're all a little bit arrogant pricks. And, but he, he, you know, but he's a good guy, right? And in the end, you know, no matter what happens, he's with the good guys, and there's no question he'll do the right thing at the end of the day. Um, there's a little bit of a personal drama that's involved with that goes back to the first uh, movie, Top Gun movie. So I, I do recommend watching the first Top Gun movie before you watch this, even though I think this is by far a better movie. Um, and, and watch it on a big screen. Watch it on a, on a... I saw it on one of these screens where they also using the sides of the theater to project images. So it was really cool. It was a big, a big screen. Um, Go see it on, on, on IMAX if you can. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's beautifully made, beautifully photographed. Oh, so some of the plot refers to, to the first movie. It's worth seeing the first movie to just to, to have the emotional carry on into the second. And you can connect easier to the different characters and what happened to them. Although they do a good job reminding you of what happened in the second movie. Um, it's emotionally compelling. You get too eyed a few times during the movie. You care for the characters. Um, again, they're not deep, they're not sophisticated, but they're robust. And, you know, while it plays a little bit to political correctness, like a woman has to be one of the fighter pilots gets chosen, but it's not, it's not that horrible, right? Um, it, it, it's not in your face in any kind of way. Um, what else can I say about the movie? Uh, uh, the only thing I disliked about the movie was the music. I thought the music was mediocre at best and, and, and didn't rise up to the drama that is created in the movie. It needed a John Williams score, and it didn't get one. But I guess they were trying to mimic the music from the first one. But, part, you know, but and, and so I, I just, that's the only part I didn't really like. The acting is good. I mean, I like Tom Cruise. He's a Scientologist which is an evil ideology. It's horrible. And, and, and they, they really do horrible things to people. And Tom Cruise is partially responsible for that. And he gets moral blame, and he should get moral blame for being a part of this horrific cult. But he's a good actor. He's really good. He's charismatic on screen. 
he, he has that look. He, he's unbelievably masculine, uh, you know, and, and, and a fighter pilot is an unbelievably masculine activity. Um, and it's about controlling this machine and, and, and in that sense, controlling nature and defeating nature and overcoming nature and, and going up against massive physical, physical obstacles. You know, they go up to 10 Gs in this movie and they, they, all kinds of stuff. So it, it, it is really, 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 um, uh, you know, he's a good actor. He's a good actor, probably a horrible human being, but a good actor. And, uh, you know, you, you get a little uh, Val Kilmer in there, you know, a very old and, and very sick Val Kilmer. Uh, and, and you get other, other good actors, Ham from, from um, what do you call that movie? I forget that TV series. I forget the name of it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, thumbs up. Thumbs up. If you just want to have fun, it, it, don't think about it too much. Um, and there's nothing wrong with the movie except the plot is full of holes but there's nothing really wrong with the movie I don't think it says anything about American foreign policy I don't think it projects any good foreign policy or anything like that Mad Men is the show, yes a ham for Mad Men um, you know, uh, I, I could critique the you know, the military aspect of it to no end but I'm not going to because that's not the point uh, it's, it's just... Now, I didn't just mean uh, the 10, Mach 10, I meant 10 Gs. When they come up, when, when, he's, when he's flying up, he gets the 10 Gs uh, in terms of the, um, what do you call it, gravitational, 10x the gravity. Uh, so, um, it's, uh, yeah, it's um, pretty spectacular, pretty spectacular uh, and, and fun and exciting and, you know, well done a movie. And it's just fun because they're using real F-18s. The, the, you know, you get to see it all, the special effects. I mean, I mean it's not special effects. It's, these are real pilots. Everything they do in that is, is, is truly amazing. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and, of course, subscribe press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.